Corbin and welcome to the Black Box in Hastings. Thank you so much for joining us. This is on the IWN. Of course it is. This is Zed Force Live. My name is Ricky Slatter and I'm so pleased. And for the very first time, and it, it looks like a mirage, but it's not. Billy Wood, the man, the myth, the legend in charge of all of this is here with me. Billy, welcome back to Hastings and welcome back to the IWN. Ricky, thank you so much. I thought coming back after such a long period of time, why not join you for the very first time in the booth? It's history. Because in 2015, we launched the fight. And in 2017, we set our goal higher and we wanted to go all the way with international pro wrestling. From that moment, in fact, the Friday the 22nd of September, 2017, six years to the day, was IPW inception. Our birth with international pro wrestling. Now, lots has happened since that moment. Stars have gone flying high to AEW, WWE, NXT. We've seen them all over that six year period. And I tell you something, Ricky. Tonight feels special. It feels like the beginning of another inception. The energy's back in the room. It's back the in the room. The switch has been turned. You can feel it. The electricity is surging around this building. We will it's an exciting time. Indeed, we will continue to provide international pro wrestling events under the banner of International Wrestling Network. And tonight, we put the showcase onto the said force division as we have four. Four qualifiers. Four qualifier matches with the winners going on to a show we will talk about later on tonight where well, we will crown a Z Force champion. And continuing that great legacy, it's going to be quite something. And we've got other stuff as well. We've got a tag team match, a women's division match, and also a main between two of the best of their generation. That is going to be something. Robbie X, underrated in my opinion, Ricky. Mm, absolutely. And another guy, he may have achieved things elsewhere, but in my opinion, underrated too. Ricky Knight Jr. from the legendary Knight family. But this is his time to become numero uno in the Knights. It's exciting times. We're going to send it for the first time this evening to MC for today, Nels Hilton. Take it away. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. One fall! And is a qualifying match for the Z Force World Championship. Oh. Introducing first. So, Ricky, here we are. Black Box Hastings. Exactly. We're, we're in Hastings and we were supposed to be in Hastings many years ago. We are finally made. We it. are, we are. And are you hyped for the said force qualifier map? Weighing in at 180 pounds, Connor Mills. I am incredibly hyped, Billy. I can't even begin to tell you how hyped I am. We've got four qualifiers tonight, if I'm correct. And the four winners are going forward to our next show to fight in a four-way for the Z-Force title. And of course, you know just how prestigious that title is. It is. Look at the winners we've had in the past. You only have to look at those, those guys and what they've gone on to achieve. And Connor Mills in the last few years since our inception has just been lighting up the scene. Because was traditionally speaking a tag team wrestler, wasn't he? He used to tag with Maverick Mayhew and Eminem. Yes. But since those days, he is very much his own man. He very much has that ruthless streak, that killer instinct that maybe he was missing before. Without a doubt, if you think about it, Maverick Mayhew and Connor Mills had some great matches in the past with Pretty Deadly. But I'm excited to see Connor Mills now in singles action for IW. And his opponent. And on that note, Ricky, I am super excited about seeing this guy. Making his way to the ring, Josh Michael Wales, weighing in at 250 pounds, sipping on your average, Jay Joshua. I mean, it's a similar story. I mean, the last time we had any interaction with Jay Joshua, he was a tag team champion, right? Exactly. Like in the... the the, the final moments of uh, what was Fight Nation. Exactly. I think Jay Joshua, Ricky, has so much upscale potential. Look at the size of the man. Look at him. But you know what? He needs to start taking this a bit seriously if he's going to beat Conor Mills tonight, that's for sure. You think he's not taking it seriously? I don't well, know. Why did you say that? Is it the beanie? Is it the dancing? What's Maybe the dancing, Ricky. I mean, he's just getting himself in the zone, surely. Uh, I mean, it's, uh, when uh, the bow goes, it's a different story, right? Well, I hope so, because this guy is an absolute mammoth, and I want to see a mammoth contest right tonight. And the mammoth contest is about to begin. The bell has been sounded, and this first contest 
It's underway, your referee. Did we hear a bell? I thought we did. We definitely heard the bell that time. We did. Come on. And speaking of bell, Scott Bell's referee for this opening contest here on the IWN. The fans are calling for the bell again. Don't do that. It would mean the match is over. Yeah, we don't know. Great that. shame. So what a good contest coming your way here. Natives of London and Cardiff, respectively, Mills. And Joshua there. Joshua once again. And like you said, he's a he's a behemoth. He's a mammoth of a man. He's gonna push his opponent back if it's power game. Connor Mills doesn't want to get into that fight. I agree there, Ricky. I, but the, the fact of the matter is, I think the ref's been a bit overzealous getting involved so quickly. Well, he's got a, he's got rules to. Oh, to. you know, let's let him fight. It's his job. He's let him fight. fight. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna fight all right. Both known for it. Oh, there you go. Well, it looks like Jay Joshua is taking this a little bit more seriously than you gave him credit for. Well, he's a big man, and if he wants to achieve great things here, at the International Wrestling Network, he needs to be serious. And Connor Mills, as we've said, he has been very serious indeed over the last few years. He's been honing his craft away from being a tag team wrestler, very much a mainstay on the British scene. He's a current champion. There is promotions in the UK, but that won't stop the full force of Jay Joshua slamming him to the canvas. Look, this is where he can use his power, Ricky. Look at that. So I was trying to get him in that choke. We know he likes that choke. But Mills, using some of that experience, Wiley getting the rope and getting himself a little bit of breathing space. Look, I just don't think it's experience with Conor Mills. I think Conor Mills has this new edge to him. I think an edge that we've not seen for, you know, being away for the years that we've been away. This new edge to Conor Mills, I think, is actually unstoppable. But the fact of the matter is, Jay Joshua to stay in control. That's, that's, that, that's, what's that then? Is that a new edge? Oh, you, you know, he's being smart, Ricky. Come on, oh. like, he's keeping away. He's oh, is that smart? Him. What are you talking? Are you watching the same thing I am? Are you in Hastings? I am in Hastings. And also, are look. you sure? Because he's went and sat in the crowd. What's that got to do with anything? Oh, I think he moved that lady from her seat. Look. Yeah, yeah, see, she's got a child as well. Well, mind games. M what, who too? The mother of the child? Mm. Jay Joshua's just sitting there. He if you come, this is, this is a Z4 qualifier. If you well, come into the Joshua International Wrestling Network, what doing. if you come into the International Wrestling Network live shows, you've got to be prepared. What to go and sit in the audience? I don't. I don't say he said Colin Mills has this ruthless streak. He needs to stay in the ring. He needs to get the job done. He's got to beat the man he's against. Because I tell you what, look at the power of Jay Joshua. Colin Mills really does have to be on his game. Can't be sitting in the crowd. And there you go. Jay Joshua saying, is that all you're going to do? Well, there we go. Go on, Conor Mills. Sorry, I shouldn't be... You know, you're no, supposed, no, no, no. supposed to be unbiased. Yes, yes, yeah, I am. I know it's your first time and all, but... I know, you've well... Got, you've got to be... I just love it. Look, this is what I want from Jay Joshua. We want to get a fire. You're going to see it, look. At the moment, he's currently showing you the strength he's got. Yeah. Using that 255 pounds that he's got. He's about a 75 pound weight advantage over Mills. True. Oh, oh that is a vicious <laughs> shot. <laughs> There's the power. Oh my goodness me, that is, I believe in the business, that is known as a volley. Oh. Wow. Oh. And do you know what the thing is? He made that look easy. He made it look easy. Oh, yeah. Owen Connor Mills. Oh, he catches oh, him on going. the way. Oh, and slaps him with impact. Okay. Check the neck, Scott. Come on, referee, get in there and check. I tell you what, you can tell that Jay Joshua was trained by someone like the Wild Boar because that is exactly the kind of thing like the Wild Boar would used to do to his opponents he used to pick them up and drop them like a bad habit this could be cradle pole drive maybe got style pole drive even oh, nice pulling back Paul Nelson catching around the waist Connor Mills fighting out with left and right for the elbows he's going to try and suplex and like I said he's given up 75 pounds this might not be the wisest strategy oh Oh, what a pump kick in Connor Mills! Almost taken clean out of the ring, only the rope stopped him from falling and crashing. Both men jostling in these waist locks. Real technical encounter once again going for the Supers. This is a mistake, surely? I can't see Connor Mills winning this exchange. Oh, he almost did get him up! Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, hold on a minute. Connor Mills using the ropes oh. for his advantage and kicks oh. it right to the side of the head of Jay Joshua, finds himself in the wrong part of the black box. Oh, 
try to give the fingers to the cameraman and there's a clothesline that takes Jay Joshua right onto that hardest part of the ring. Out there on the apron. Scott Bell, yeah, now Scott Bell is checking, making sure that Jay Joshua is okay to continue. Looks like he's had his bell rung. Connor Mills is daring people to get in the ring now. How is that a smart strategy? Well, you feel look at Jay Joshua, he is. He's got. Wait, he's got. But that's not the point. He's got one man in the ring. He's got to beat him to qualify to maybe be in the running to be Z Force champion. And he's talking to the crowd while Jay Joshua was getting back to his feet, giving Jay Joshua just a few more seconds. And it turned out not to be enough time. Drop kick goes right to Jay Joshua. Two very nonchalant. Cover. Well, you know what? I think, like I said, if Jay Joshua takes it a little bit more seriously. He won't be trying to embarrass him like that, would he? Would he takes a bit seriously. Oh. Connor Mills has spent half his time talking Cut. to the audience. Yeah, but he's shown off his new physique. He didn't look like that in 2019, did he? I mean, I, I hate to say you've got a point in some respect, because you do have a point, but still, you've got to keep your eyes on the man in the ring. It's the, the very first rule of wrestling is stay on your true, opponent. True. Yeah, he's caught him here. Like still, he managed to catch him on the way, grabbed him by his chinny chin chin. Oh. What a dragon skirt, he caught his ankle on the way down. Mm, Ricky, how do you think he feels after that? I tell you, he doesn't feel very good at all, because as we always say, if you take out the legs, you take out the rest, the trunk of the tree will lead to it all falling down. And here we go, Connor Mills has him wrapped up, he's got that leg, he's got it nice and tight, he's got him sent in the ring. And I don't like the fact he's slapping him, but making him angry in this position is probably to the advantage, right? Because Jay Joshua, he's going to use more of that energy up because he's frustrated. Yeah, for but he sure. he can't get to the rope. Well, tap. Why? He wants to, be, he wants to win the Z Force Championship at our next show. If he taps, he's going to lose. Well, look at that. Is this why you're not a manager at ringside? Well, I'm not I as good as... i tell you what, lad. Why not tap? I tell you... I tell oh, you look something. at this. Though. Wow! Smacking his That's the power, him. Ricky. See, I'm not here being biased on Tommy Mills' behalf, but this is what yes, I want to see. I want to see the intensity and power from this man. By saying that Conor Mills is amazing on the way, you can just simply say that they're both good. Okay. There you go. Not hard, is it? Not hurting anyone? Jay Josh has been down for a long time in this contest. Connor Mills there with a kick to the spot. I tell you what, Jay Joshua, oh, he just stood right back over there, he's face to face. And once again, kicking the back. I think hit the shoulder and Jay Josh was crossing his legs. And he's saying, come on, bring it. Well, there you go, there's some of that fire one. He's, he's literally daring Connor Mills to start kicking the bells out of him. Is that fire or is that stupidity? It would appear to be fire, because now it looks like it's Jay Joshua. Oh, my Mills. God. Mills is booking an appointment with the nearest chiropractor as we speak, and so he should. You hear that from the fans there. He really can. I was going to say something that Connor Mills has extensively travelled around Europe, but at the moment his back is travelling across the ring here in Hastings. See, the thing is, it doesn't matter how much of a journeyman he's become, it doesn't matter how much of a serious wrestler he's become, nothing can prevent the impact of taking these shots to the face and those kicks to the back. It's nice to see Scott Bell maybe officiating. He's making sure he is being even-handed there. He's saying to Jay Josh, look, he's in the corner, you need to give him the space to come out of the corner, which is completely correct on how he started the contest in the first place. Of course, this is our first contest in the Z Force qualifying. Z Force still to come. Again, with a crowd. But our next show, look at the pay lifting him. Dead lift him. Oh. Oh. German. That's, That's insane, too. No. Connor Mills, and I tell you what, barely, barely twitched himself back into life to get out there. Goodness me. Said lifting over the rope. I mean, the strength that takes, the, the consistency and the strength and the conditioning it takes to lift weight, and keep it, and then drill it. I'm a big fan of Joe Joshua. Yeah, no, no. I've, I've this, I tell, I tell you what, it's been, it's been a long match for you, isn't it? I've been a big fan. Oh, look at this right Oh, he's thinking, he's thinking muscle buster, is he, possibly? Yeah. <laughs> Connor Mills looks like he was wise to it. He was almost uh, in a very precarious position, and he ends up in one anyway. He's going to try rowing the boat again, is he? He's got him for a second time. Oh, and this time, Connor. And this time, Connor knows, yes, he is wise to it. Oh. 
Inzaguri straight to the back of the neck, but the big man's got him straight away with no... Oh! There's a kick on the way down, straight over the cover, deep hook! Oh, it's just shy of the shy. JJ, you can tell by Jay Joshua's face, you can see the sweat pouring. You can see a little smirk, a little wry look possibly, but I tell you what he thought he had in there. He's like saying, oh, maybe I'm going to have to step it up here, I'm going to have to go to that next level. He's going to have to be, to be the Z-Force champion, you have to be at that you next have, level. You have to be at that next level. This is what we're talking about. Yeah. Lifting Conor Mills, he's thinking maybe that muscle buster again. Conor Mills managed to escape the first time. Will he escape the second? It's not looking good, Billy. It's not looking good for Conor Mills. No, he's, oh, he's, managed, oh, to, oh. he's managed to catch the rope somehow on the way down. He's trying to... Oh, he's, I don't think he's going to landslide, Jay Joshua. It's £75 difference, Conor. You might want to think about this, son. Oh, no. Oh, and Conor Mills goes all the way over the top. Oof. I mean, if you can do both, you can do both. I don't think it's smart. He's going for a super Not again. It didn't work the last two times. Oh, he's almost got him up. But I tell you what, that could cost him. Oh, what a kick by Jay Joshua. And oh. Area, and he's straight into one, another two. two. That's got to be. Oh. He didn't have enough purchase on the shoulders, but he fell plumb on top of Joshua there. That's a lariat there. Wow. What did I say? Did I say Larry? Are you correcting me? I can't tell. You're, you're amazed by it. I'm just amazed, I'm amazed by it. You, you heard the air taken out of the room. And it's a big space. It's an intimate space, but it's a big space here in the black box. It is. Crowd. Trying to wheel Jay Joshua to his feet. And he's going to need it. It's Connor Mills who was up first. They really don't like Connor Mills here in Hastings, do they? Well, he's been... He's been He's been sticking his fingers up for the like last 10 minutes. If, if I say it like this for 10 minutes. Oh, you, you know, know I mean? he might just be asking for two more minutes. Two more minutes. Oh, well, well, I'll tell you what, he won't want two won't more. Two more minutes, so that will he, Ricky? No, he won't. I'd like two more minutes, but I don't think so. Oh, thanks. Not if those shots to the, uh, the cheekbones are anything to go by. Come on! They say it's about Connor Mills, as you were alluding to earlier on, Billy. And that's because he really will. He really will put up a fight. Yeah, he will. Well, I tell you what, he's. Oh. Is this full hardy? Is this brave? What is this? This is a new Connor Mills. A Connor Mills I'm excited to have here at the International Wrestling Network, that's for sure. Oh. Oh. Once again, those kicks at once. Here we go again. again. Mills tries to bounce off the ropes. Doesn't get the lariat. Going for it. Dragon Super oh, oh, he Dragon Super to deadlift it in the Connor Mills row bounce off again it's a no way oh. catches him on the second time and now is he going for a suplex once more and again it's a mistake and he's a catch down straight into the cover two no oh, he had that the, been it. Had the extra been it. 75 extra pounds on top but not enough purchase so very close guys. if I'm being critical there Ricky what's the pin right did he put enough weight on the man he, I'm not saying he put enough weight on him because he didn't have to put his shoulders but he landed straight on top of him in moments like that you've got to just hope that you can get the free right he hooked as much as he could maybe maybe a big man like that should have been done should have been done what you said you were getting to like him I, I really love both oh, you can't make your mind up There's, do you know what consistency is man I'll tell you what, what a chef you'd make do you know what I mean Consistency is key. T tonight's flan is going to be syrupy. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm a big boy. Oh, oh I tell you what. Reverberate on every single one of the walls of this building, that shot from Joe Josh. He just hits so incredibly hard. And Connor Mills will fight him all the way. I'm not sure he's going to win this exchange. Oh. Who should put your money on? I think Jay Joshua hasn't got as much reach, but he's damn sure going to make up with that with power. Oh, he's caught him. Oh, wow! Oh. Right to the back, took himself down in the process though. He's got the power to do this, Ricky. He's going to try and burn him. He likes that burning cutter if he can hit it. And look what he's doing, he's hitting the back, he's hitting the neck and that is going to wear him down. He's got him up on the second, he's got him in perfect position. Goodness me, Connor Mills, look at the strength. He's thinking that burning cut, if he hits it, he's going to be... Oh, look at that, the final. No! It's countered! Yeah. Countered by Joshua! Oh. Cradle! Oh. He cradle 
Oh, driver the life out of Connor Mills. How is Connor Mills vertical? Intestinal fortune on display by Connor Mills. But tell you what, it might yeah. be about to snuffed oh, out. Good. He's thinking muscle buster Billy. He gets all of it and surely hooks the leg. It's a deep cover and he has the neck. No wisdom of how. How did he get Oh, the here we go, Ricky. Straight into a choke. Straight into a choke. Oh. And Connor Mills, I don't think, can get to the ropes. He is squeezing the life out of Connor Mills and he's been caught. He's been caught, Billy. Well, he's proved me wrong. He came in, in my opinion, very, very much relaxed. Looked like he was just playing to the crowd, but he meant business there, Ricky. He meant business. I have to give him the credit there. The moment the bell rung, from the moment the bell rung, he had that look. After the dance, he stopped in the panning to the crowd. As soon as the bell rung, Jay Joshua became different. He became energised, and from that moment, it was pretty much about as even Stevens as you can get. But in the end, it was the power, and it was that choke that sends him through to the Z Force Championship match the next time we are with you. Good evening ladies and gentlemen. We're here live in Hastings for the IWN. I'm Tara Valentine and I'm here live with Aaliyah. How are you feeling about your match this evening? Well, I am excited but I'm very nervous. I have had a long hiatus from wrestling in front of a crowd so I'm looking forward to it. I'm ready to bring my A game and just get back in the swing of things. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm absolutely sure that you will. Your opponent's looking pretty hot. How are you feeling about that? Well, I've heard a lot about her aggression and her intensity, so I'm just hoping I can match that and, and really show her that I'm a formidable opponent. Well, she's come all the way over from France today, and you are our UK queen, so I wish you the best of luck, <laughs> and I'm absolutely sure that you've got this. Thank you. Back to you guys. See you later. So we've heard from Aaliyah. She clearly means business here in the women's division of Z Force on the IWN. We know that we have a lot of prestige when it comes to women in our neck of the woods. We've got Sierra Loxton, former champion, Zy Brookside, former champion, Bobby Tyler, Stevie Tyler, whoever you want to call, also former champions. Who is going to be the next champion of the division? Well, we don't know, right? We, we don't know, but this will be a great indicator of to the level of women's opposition that we will bring in to the IWN. And what a way to do it, Aaliyah James, fresh from WWE NXT UK. Can she make a difference tonight? We're about to find out. Let's send it up to Nels Hilton, your MC for this evening. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is a women's division match. Introducing first. I managed to chat to Kira Kamira backstage and she's got a baseball bat, which um, I'm not sure how you've allowed into the building to be got on this because it looks like a registered weapon. But on that bat and on the back of her jacket, it actually says in French, and I speak a little bit of French, which you probably didn't know about. Do you? Oh, no, <laughs> no not, not really, but I speak enough to tell you that it says to casa, which means break everything. Oh. And she's here to break rules, barriers or faces. She doesn't mind which. She looks mean. Absolutely mean. She's the sort of She's carrying a bat. You know what? It's if not just a bat. a bat. You look mean. It's not just a bat, Ricky. It's the demeanour. This girl looks yeah. like she's here for business. Well, why? This is why I expected Jay Joshua to walk out in the first match. What, with a baseball? No, no, no. You but just want this place to be thugs. <laughs> thugs well, with bats. Fugonomics all day long. Fugonomics, yeah. Now, here she comes. And as you've alluded to, this is really a snapshot of what the women's division here on the IWN really could look like. Aaliyah James, of course, heavily trained for some very important places, trained at the WWE Performance Centre, comes from a great pedigree, and she's actually told me this is her first independent match since she's left. This is not, so the, this is a this is not the first time we've brought big stars no. from the WWE and had their to first Neil Dashwood. To, to Neil Dashwood. Dashwood. You know, you look at not just 
on the, on the women's front, but on the men's front, we've had former world champions leave the WWE at the highest stage of WrestleMania, then come to us and win titles. Yeah. Could this be the start of Aaliyah James's journey? Well, see, up? this is what we're going to have to find out, right? Well, it's, it's hell of an opponent for her to face in Kira Kamira, the native of Brittany in France. Ricky, I, I look at this battle very much similar to the, to the first match we had with regards to the power versus the speed and finesse. That's very good. So you, you're picking this up incredibly quickly, Billy. I, well, I, I well, when you... A natural... It's here in the black box, oh. and that is a natural drop down by Aaliyah James. But Ricky, when you listen to yourself and Dean Harris for four or five years, you kind of pick it up, right? <laughs> I like the way you said that like I was listening to my own voice in my own head, which I do do on occasion. For sure. Kira Kamara did say she's not a tourist. She does most of the in France. She says she is here to win. And she actually sees a parallel this evening of the Battle of Hastings. She's in Hastings and it's very much England versus France. I'm not sure Leah James sees it that way. I think it's more a case that she sees the opponent in front of her and she needs to beat her. She needs to rise to the occasion, as you say, to make her mark here on the IWN. For sure. End of the day, when you, when you leave the big leagues and you're back in the independent scene, it's all oh. about momentum. And the momentum that she needs to create tonight is going to be the start of something fresh and new for her. But she's not going to start that by getting trounced. No. By Kira Take, taking a back breaker like that is not going to help no. her rise here at all. She's going to need to find something and find it quickly. We have alluded to the fact that Aaliyah James was in NXT, she's NXT UK. Mm -hmm. She's fought the likes of Zia Brookside, yes. of Bobby or Stevie, whoever you want to call Bobby Tyler. Or Steve. Not your favourite, Ricky. Not my favourite. No, afraid. we know that for sure. She's also been there with Nina Samuels and Isla Dawn, who uh, I think was former NXT Tag Team Champion as well. Indeed. So she's got a pedigree. She's an anti-conformist. She says she's happy to break rules. She'll start trash talking if she wants to. I don't necessarily agree with that as a strategy. Good deep cover, two only. Not sure she was going to get the freak out on that occasion, but she's making the Leah James work for it, and that's the name of the game, right? Burn the energy of your opponent, you can pin them. For sure. If I'm Kira here, I am continually using that power. Yeah. You have to continually keep that pressure. What's Aaliyah supposed to do? Is, is it a case of speed? Is she supposed to outrun Kira? Because when you're against someone who's that powerful, you've got to be close. You can't. Sorry, you've got to avoid being close. For me, it's fight or flight. She yeah. has to choose her actions here. And here we go. Is that flight you're talking about? Oh. Rolls up two. That might be the strategy. Oh. On oh, Kira. Blocking the trend there by being slightly quicker. Over for the cover. It's two. It's only a two, says your referee Scott Bell. Ricky, I have to say, I really like the intelligence of Kira here. What, they're going for the cover? Keep going no, for the cover? No, just the, the ring smarts. The fact that she is using her attributes to her advantage. She's sticking on this, this major talent and showing that, oh, why can't she compete in the top leagues? Well, this is the point. I mean, she's not here as a, as a, as a token, token wrestler. They're both here to make their mark. It just so happens that Aaliyah James has in her own way already made a mark somewhere, right? Yeah, for sure. But as we said, Kira Kamira has mainly done her work in France, so Oof. it's only the last uh, year or two, really, that she's crossed the English Channel to ply her craft here. I tell you what, if these, if these elbows to the next continue tonight, I will be hiring a chiropractor for the next show, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we've, got, we've got a room out there, I believe, uh, dedicated to it. We have indeed. Kira's got to be careful though, she doesn't fall into the same mistakes we've already seen Connor Mills walk into and she's, she's got to be careful not to get wrapped up in what the crowd are doing because we know the kind of crowd this is, they are going to get involved, they are going to get loud, right? You've got to try and put that to the back of your mind and focus on what you're doing because both of them want to win and furiously by the looks of it. Oof. The crowd are really behind the Leah here. She capitalised on this bit of momentum, Ricky. So this is the thing I'm running at her. I didn't think that was the wisest strategy to run straight towards her, but it seems to be paying off. This is the fight I was talking about. Got a beautiful hurricane run, and Kira is out of sorts. Kira Kamir has been trained by some people who would have thought would know to help her counter that. And Connor Mills was actually one of them who trained Kira Kamira. Mm. Along with Eddie Dennis, David Francisco, and a few others. 
Oh, beautiful crossbody from Aliyah, though. Go. Hooks the leg two. Had good purchase on the shoulders, but just wasn't enough. Not enough, and I think, once again, Kira's just shown her strength getting out of that pinfall, that's for sure. Well, like you said, you go to what you know. She's got the power game. If you're the person on the other side of the ring, surely your strategy is to wear them down. For that sure. is always what works. If you're faster, if you're more agile, you're likely to all oh, have the stamina. Right to the back of the head after that whiplash effect on the ropes. It takes a bit of time to turn her over, and that might have prevented the free count there. We're going to be very critical here for Kira. Again, just like Jay Joshua. She's nicked, she needed to get a Tyler pin, a better grip on her there. I mean, but the thing is, I mean, at that point, it took her three seconds to turn her over. Yeah. So for that point, man, she was. Uh, so you're going to get the free count. You can't be lactidosal on these, on, the, on these pinfalls, though. You have to, if you want to get the win here, you've I got to. I don't want to get the win. Well, I'm, not, I'm not getting in that ring. Well, Ricky, you never know. You never you know. To, well, I, I, I don't need to know. <laughs> Chris Hatch did once. I saw yes, another he's... independent show. That's for sure. For you next. The day, the day you see me do a destroy off the second rope, son. Shout out to the Hatches. Hatch remain all day long. Going for that jumping DDT. Aaliyah James loves to finish her opponents off with that one. Stunner. Oh. Kira Kamira going there for the stun buster. The stun buster she likes to hit. It's a stunner. Rebound straight into a spine buster as Aaliyah James going once again for that jumping DDT. And she managed oh. to do it this time. And Kira lands right on the head. Right on the bottom. Aaliyah James with urgency hooks the leg. Two. Oh, no foot on the rope. She didn't have enough left to get the shoulder up. So what do you do? Is it veteran instinct? I like to think so. She gets the foot on the rope and then Leah James beside herself because that really was her best shot. Two words, ring smarts. I, I, I won't deny that. I think that is the right thing to do. I mean, Leah James is obviously frustrated and you can understand why. You've hit your best shot, you've got your opponent down. She's got to capitalise and capitalise quickly. Oh! Leah's off the ropes. And she hits both parts of it. That is the stun buster. Got off the ropes. Oh. Oh. The ropes. What did I say about those two words? That, well, that's one word. Cheating. <laughs> Ring smart. I'm applauding that, Ricky. Why are you applauding it? I'm applauding that. What, because she cheated to win. She didn't have to cheat. She just hit her best shot herself. She was she on point. She could have got the free count without putting her foot on the ropes. Look. I don't know. Kira Kamira has put herself in contention, in my opinion, by cheating to be around by, the by IWN cheating. Women's yeah, Championship. But she cheated. Well, she's got so you, that's who you want to be our champion. What, what has she got in, in her locker right now? A W, a right? A cheat win. A cheating win is what she's got. A great women's match there, showcasing the very best of what we can expect to see here on the IWN. But we now return to the meat of our inquiry this evening. We're going back to the Z Force, Billy. We are, and I just want to make a point. Six years ago, today... To this day, yeah. To this day, we launched International Pro Wrestling Inception. And on that day, the Z Force Championship was defended. And won. It was defended by Rob Sharp. Yep. Filthy gorgeous Rob Sharp. Filthy gorgeous and Rob. won. Ducky. by the current AEW star he was known to us as super bad Kip Sabian and that shows for me where the said force division goes when you start there and move on upwards it's Ricky. I mean, he became our world champion. He, Remember, he, he used that as a launch pad. He won the Z Force, then became world champion, and then went to AEW. It's not just a launch pad, right? It was, it it's the beginning. It's the beginning to superstardom. So these eight guys tonight have a chance to superstardom. So let's see what these guys bring to bring the next match. Let's head it back to the ring with our dear host Nels Hilton. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And is a Z Force World Championship qualifying match. Yeah. 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 Yeah
we're talking about showcasing the very best that we have to offer in this country and here a bit like Connor Mills is a man who has constantly been redefining himself over the last few years he's had a he had a kind of a few problems really kind of knowing who he was and kind of getting the wins on the board but now he has come back completely focused and I'm quite excited to see what Cali Gray can offer us here. Cali Gray is an individual that we know a lot We've about. We've seen him grow. We have seen him grow. Him grow. He a former member of our academy. He was a contender. He had his prospect matches with us uh, when he was finding his feet. But when you look at him now, years removed from those days, this is a guy that wants to take the chance. When we talk about sh showcasing and going for superstardom, this is a kid who believes he can do it. I've heard some great things up north about Scotty Rourke, yeah. but he's not up north anymore, Ricky. He's deep, deep south, so he's really got to prove himself tonight. He looks ready. He looks confident. He's moving can, around the ring with a bit of swagger. Can, I give, a can I give a compliment? Who too? We'll find out. About Scotty Rourke? Can I give a compliment? Go and ask him. I, what, do I look like his keeper? I like, I like that ring jacket. What wing jacket? What waistcoat he had on. What wing jacket? Well, what are you looking? Alright, okay, now we're looking tattoos. You've made it up, right? Yeah. It was shiny. It was. <laughs> oh. You've turned into a mag by John Root drop kick and Cali Gray in the ascendancy very much early on here. Yeah. Spinning him around and around and around. Oh. Goodness me, making him dizzy, then dropping him face first. Oh, deep cover. Stuck, Two. Stuck. Oh. Almost had him. I tell you what, remember, this is a Z Force Championship qualifying match. I, mean, I, we kind of, I did get lost in the shuffle so much. Yeah. I do want to point out, if they can get a quick win, they absolutely will try to, right? The key here is to win, make this statement, and get into that championship match. Oh, the pace was quickening for a period of time. And then Skyrock gets the upper hand, kick to the side. He lands right into the cover, too. Only a two. Very, very fast. And see, this is a different contest, really like the other two we've seen so fast, because these are both people who fly around that ring. They move at top speed. So in this contest, it really is just going to be not a question of luck, but a question maybe of, whoa, survival, maybe timing. Went for the Telson kick there to Scotty Rourke, almost hit it early. So what, the tempo is risen, isn't it? Ricky? Absolutely. Right. And the thing is, when you've got two people who are going at that speed, pace tends to make waste. So at some point, someone's going to fall foul of it. Oh, and it made ah, it right there. You there. Go. Oh, look at that. Right there. I didn't do it. Right there. There you go. He crashed and burned. Oh, well, see, that happened. You seem happy about that. No, I'm not happy. There was, there was, are you sure? There was a happy uh, tone. Now, you want to get that chiropractor trope. That's what it is. Yeah. Looking to get some sort of commission off it. Oh, there you go. That will help. Scotty Rock is not going to take it. Cali Gray disrespects him. He'll get one back. Both men would love to follow in the footsteps of some of the greats who've held the Z Force Championship. Who's the Black Parade now? On the IWN. We've met in Kip Saban, of course. Rob Sharp. Late, great run. Ryan Smile, our first Z Force Champion, of course. Way back when. Oh, right on the neck. Extra talk on the way down. Only a two, though, says Scott Bell. Mentioning the late great Ryan Smile. When his match first started, I thought it was going to be as quick as the final on the first ever set of yeah. championship tournament. 
which I think was what 13 seconds record. They had a, yes, it was, and they had a, him and Josh Bode had a return two out of three falls. I seem to remember, but um, yeah, it was a very quick, a very quick match, very, very surprising. Quick affair. Yeah, the all-day start. Sat ringside there, and the entire place exploded for Ryan Smile. And I tell you what, what a talent! And this is what we're talking about with the Z Force. We're talking about talent of that level, people who move at that speed, with agility, with tenacity. We're looking for it all in the Z Force division here on the IWA. I'll tell you what, Ricky, Kelly's, Kelly Gray really impressed me tonight because yes, he's shown bravado. Yes, he's a bit of showmanship. But the, the anticipation and delivery in some of his some of his work tonight is just showing that he has developed so much so in the last three four years, and you know, and that has to go to the lad. It has to go to. The lad. Yeah. Oh goodness me! Pick my ball. That could be all though. And he is he is impressing. And like we said, we have followed his journey. We have watched him in those prospect matches back in the early days. Yeah. And to see him here now, he looks like he belongs, doesn't he? He, he does. He does. He doesn't just want to belong, one would imagine. He wants to very much get himself into that Z-Force Championship. Imagine if tonight Kelly Gray gets himself into that final. Imagine if he does that and then he goes on our next show and wins the thing. Yeah. What sort of message would that send to the rest of British wrestling for Kelly Gray? He's here. Exactly. He's arrived. And do you know what? We've seen that before. You said about Kip and it was the, the first name that came up for both of us. Oh, wait a minute. Thinking Cemetery Driver. He hooks that underhook, they'll lift him into the pile driver. Going for the cemetery driver, had him up there briefly before he came back down. Smart here working over the back. Let's try and get him better in position. I think he's gonna go. I think he's gonna hit it. Oh, it went way, way too far over though. Rock catches him with a kick, but he collapses. He's taken a bit of a beating here. Scotty Rock, of course, not forgetting. He wants to make his mark. He's got a story to tell. He's got a championship to fight for. If he can get himself into that final win on next event. He's going to have to keep the pressure on Cali Gray here, though, to do that. Oh, great move there, Scotty Rock. Here we go, here we go, Ricky. Kelly Gray prone oh. and takes a foot right to the side of his face. Where he's not done yet. Scotty Roll with a second one, and Kelly Gray. Matching bruises each and every yeah. side. <laughs> oh, but Kelly Gray's got plenty of fight left in. Look at the speed he's coming across from the other side of the ring. He's been caught though. Face makes waste. Lucy Garoshi only gets a, well, that was almost a three, I said only a two, it was barely a two, it was so close to three, you could hear it hit the canvas. So, and this is what we're talking about, where they've used their speed, this is that part of the contest, this is that tenacity, this is where it's about fortitude, who has got enough left in the tank to get themselves over the line? Oh, using his back, goodness me, did you see that coming? Back I did not. We are in trouble here. I thought he was going to kick him, he just used his entire body as a weapon. <laughs> Snap, German, Scotty Rourke goes down. <laughs> Cali Gray has an opening here. It's a snap German, but this time it's Scotty Rock who hits it. But once again, Scotty Rock cannot capitalise. Too much damage has been done. What a contest this is. They're showing you what it is about. They're putting it all out there. They really are tonight. But these guys are bringing the intensity, the intensity to win. This is why they're here, right? I mean, this is, you haven't just like selected 100 no. names and put them in a bingo roll. Do you know what I mean? You've, you've obviously gone out and these are some of the best that are going in the country. Ricky, we were never going to come back without the absolute best in yeah. this country. And tonight, I think we've identified two names. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold it a second. Oh. They're going to beat each other back to a vertical basis if they can here. The intensity of Scott Rock and Cali Gray on display here. Chopping, forearm, punching, whatever it takes to hit the other person, hit them as hard as they can until they can't go any further. Cali Gray he is wobbly. Once again, oh. he went for the test on kick for a second time, and once again, Cali Gray is wise to it. Releasing with a Moshinoku driver, doesn't go for the cover straight, takes a bit too long but does get purchased. But he took too long to roll over to the cover. Ricky. That would have been it. That should have been it. Should have been. That should have been it. Right, is that 
Is that the naivety that we saw in Cali Gray three years ago? Well, I, I don't think it's much na I don't know if it's na naivety. It's, a movie, it's the moment, do you know what I mean? But he looks a lot sharper than he did, so I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know. It's a difficult one. Because you can see the hungry for it, right? Yeah, for sure. Both these guys, like I was about to say, just before I was to say, these guys, I believe we are seeing two wrestlers in our ring right at this present moment that are going to be names for years to come that people are going to talk about. I agree with that, but Callie Gray has to keep on his man. Do you know, he was just chastising him. He was just slapping him about. Not a hard slap like he's doing, like a little kind of here I am, here I am. Shouldn't be doing that. Concentrate on getting the win, especially when we're getting a bit deeper into the contest. That's what you need to do if you're Callie Gray. Use the aggression. Don't taunt your opponent at this stage. It's a oh, my God! Out of nowhere, how did Scotty Roll go from that position to hit that move, Billy Wood? Now, this is why we brought this man in. The intensity, the tempo. And... Springboards into the dropkick, and Cali Gray is ever so close to this opportunity, slipping through his fingers, because the Tesla kick is warming up from Scotty Roll, and he hits it, will be done here. No, he counters it. Catches it with a knee, he's going for the cemetery driver again. He's got him up. No, he's counted! Come on, Rock, he's got both legs! Two, no, 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 so close! Tesla oh, oh, oh. on the side of the head! Hook in the leg, it's deep! Two! And that'll do it, it's going to Wow! Now that! Wow, wow, wow! Now that sets the tone for me, Ricky. That should be the minimum level we expect from the Z Force Division. That's why they're here, right? You said it yourself. This is why they have been brought into the IWN Live family. Oh, well, I don't know what that was about. That's a bit weird. The Lost Boy. The Lost Boy of British Wrestling. It seemed a little bit lost in that moment. He, well, we say he's lost, but we know where he's going to be. We know exactly where he's going to be. We'll tell you in a second, because he is in that final. He, he will be fighting for the Z Force Championship on our next broadcast. Hello, and we're backstage once again, and I'm joined with the lovely Levi Muir. And if you win this match, you do realise that you've actually got the opportunity to be a part of the Z Force Championships. How are you feeling? Well, Tara, you're a lovely girl, very nice looking, but what you bring for and looks you clearly lack for in brains and education. If I win my match, let me tell you something, I will 100% be winning my match. Have you seen the boy that I'm wrestling, the man child? He's about four foot two, absolutely nothing. Nino Bryan, I've known him since 2016. Uh -huh. He was this small then, and he's this small now. There's not a single thing he can do against me. It's ridiculous this match is even booked. It is a real David versus Goliath in real life. But unfortunately for Nino O'Brien, he's going to get hurt. He's going to get hurt badly. Wow, some real confident words there. Thank you so much for your time, my darling. And mm. you know what? I've got strong faith in you. You say you should. There we go. <laughs> Getting a bit smarter by the second, Tara. <laughs> Fair enough. Thank you, darling. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. See you out there. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is a Z-Force Championship qualifying match. Introducing first... Now Ricky, I'm just going to comment. This guy... And as I was about to say, I remember getting an email, Ricky. And there anyone was saying, in particular? Or and they were saying email? that there's this young teenage talent who is going to be huge in British wrestling. And that kid was called El Nino. And I was thinking to myself, really? This 15, 16 year old protege who's going to fly in the British wrestling scene? Nah. We transform into 2023, and now we have Nino Bryant in the middle of our ring. But let's be honest, he's not been given the best task, has he? It's going to be a bit difficult. We will, uh, we will not sugarcoat that. This uh, might be the mismatch of the evening so far. Well, 
Williams weighs in at 235 pounds. The best athlete in the game. Well, let's just uh, let's talk about the elephant in the room, the differences here, because they are pretty stark. Five foot seven is Nino Bryant. Levi Muir is way over six foot. Nino Bryant is 132 pounds. Levi is 235. A mammoth of a man. Huge, impressive. He's been there. He's done it. This guy is destined for great, great, great things. Look at the man. That is I mean, a physique. I mean, that is a physique. I'll be honest. That's what I look like after <laughs> I, I, after lockdown. That is exactly really what I look like. How long was your dream? How long was your dream? Well, we locked down. Like I slept for six months. Oh, <laughs> Netflix and sleep. That's what that's I got. A, that's a that's a coma body you've got going there. I'm you. <laughs> I imagine that. Look at that. That one arm is as big as I don't know. Chris Hatch's leg. So what do you reckon then, Ricky? About Levi Muir, about Nino Bryant? I, I look at Nino and I go, what chances he had? If you were a betting man, what would the odds be on Nino Bryant beating the specimen Levi Muir? I mean, we've seen Nino Bryant kind of transform from what he was when he was a rookie into what he is today. Oh, I don't want to discount Nino Bryant because you look know, at him. He's, he's, he's a, a yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at I, star. I agree. I agree. That man is built. He is, he is, I mean, someone has been chiseling on that body for a good period of time. He's wearing pleather shorts. He's wearing... What leather. is this? Ring of Honor 2002? Did you say pleather or leather? Pleather. What's pleather? Fake leather, plastic leather. Is it really? I well, I've heard it a few things. times. Because... Is this important in the football world? I don't know, I feel like this is Ring of Honor 2002. Sorry, Nino. I gave you a big hype coming in. But when I compare you, Nino Bryant, versus Levi Murr, Specimen versus hopeful. And you know what? Sometimes that's all you need. You make it sound like underdogs have never won a fight. And let's be honest, again, we're going to put it into the bluntest terms. This couldn't be more David versus Goliath. Could it? This is the story. There's a reason Nino's in this. But the draw came out. It wasn't like I picked these two to face each other. This was a random draw. And unfortunately for Nino Bryant, he has to face the mammoth. How was that random draw done? It was done randomly. Very randomly. That it was. Like the FA Cup. I like the FA Cup, I see. Well, Nino Bryant has not picked necessarily the best ball he could have picked, as you can see, as six oh. foot plus, 235 pounds of Levi Muir steamrolls its way into Bryant's torso. I wonder how his stomach looks after that. Thinner, I'd imagine. Thinner, slightly more stretched. I mean, it sounds like something we. We don't really need to say, but we're going to say it anyway. Oh, oh goodness oh. gracious me! Oh, I was going to say this is power versus speed and Nino okay. needs to fly, but I didn't mean right into the top turn. But I'm not sure if our camera guys caught it, but I just looked into the whites of Nino Bryant's he, eyes. He flickered, didn't he? Oh, my he goodness. Flickered. I don't think he knows where he is. Levi Muir, he's chiseled, he's six foot one, two, three, five pounds. He's been in the business for eight years. He was trained by Lance Storm. He's been in Olympic contention for the UK. He's a powerlifting champion. When he says he is the best all-round athlete in the game, you've got to give him some credit for some of those packs, I'm telling you. Trained I... by Lance Storm, powerlifting champion. Nino is he's in trouble here. We said about Sedfalls taking people from a spotlight to absolute superstardom. Can you see anything other than superstardom for Levi Murr? You see gold in his future, don't you? <laughs> That's not to discount Nino Bryan. That's not to discount what he's done, the progress he's made. But when you're talking about speed versus power, this is unbridled force that Nino Bryan is facing against those turnbuckles right now. I 
of the scary thing is we've seen a few contests here already, Bobby, where it's been a case of they have been trash talking to the crowd but, and they've lost the momentum a little bit. But Levi Muir has been holding Nino Bright most of that time and chastising the crowd. That is terrifying. He's managed to concentrate on everybody in the building at once and still be in charge. Uh, he's a monster. But Nino, look, he's showing fire. Oh, almost dropped him on the top turn buckle again, but Nino Bryant, he's using that speed. It's the only thing he's really going to be able to use here. The agility is going to have to come into play. Off the second rope. Got the speed! Oh, my Inside goodness! Inside out! And Nino Bryant, for the first time, almost looks human. But he did not hit the deck. No, he didn't. I don't, has he gone down once in the no. contest? Oh, I don't even think he's hit the canvas. <laughs> Nino Bryant, he, he hasn't even got his opponent off his feet. Oh no, and he caught him, he caught him! He caught him like a small child! Oh no, oh, the ease, look at the ease! Just ragdolling Nino Bryant around and the speed is going to catch up him! And he takes it down! For the first time, ever so briefly! Ever so briefly, Levi Muir was down! Straight there. back to his feet, what an athlete! Oh, ow! Goodness. Ow! Ow, ow. Oh. And that chiropractor on standby, we, we might need him sooner than the next show. <laughs> Nino, no, he's done. Oh, if Scott Bell is Scott not Bell, so If I am you, I'd leave. stay away. I'd, I'd, I'd yeah. leave. Oh, my. Yeah. God. Scott Bell's a braver man than I am. Yeah. Braver what than is? Tom Scarborough? Braver than Tom Scarborough? Tom Scarborough's not here. No. If Tom Scarborough was here, you know, he's, he's a very brave man. Very proud. Oh, I bet Tom's got it. Oh my God, that's me! Oh so my him. Lord! From the cradle to the grave, pretty much. He got him from the outside all the way in. Slams him in the middle. I mean, you may well count higher than three, Scott. Well, I don't know if that's instinct, stupidity, or fight, or something in between. But how Nino Bryant found the ability to kick out of that, I do not know. I don't think it was wise. You corrected me in the first match when I said he should just take the pinfall. That's Nino Bryant shown enough fighting spirit. The reason he was picked as one of the eight men in this tournament. It's because of his fighting spirit. The thing is, if Levi had gone for the cover, this is pretty much done for, right? He had an extra six or seven seconds. I, I'm not saying he's not fighting. I'm just simply saying that the power game that Levi Muir is bringing here to the IWN is almost unparalleled. Trying to, trying to take him down, but this is not going to work. Not oh! And he was down, and this time he was down. He didn't spring back up quite Nino, as quick. Nino, this is your chance. I tell you what, he's probably not going to get a second one. Once again went up, possibly looking for that Moonsoul DDT. And instead he finds a hellacious follow his slam for his troubles. He's hitting himself now. Goodness me. An absolute warrior of a man. Do you know what, Ricky? You might as well just give him the belt now, Bill. Do you know what I mean? You might as well just give him the belt. Oh. From what I've seen tonight, I mean, they've been very evenly matched contests for the most part, but this really has been one-way traffic, with the other side having severe delays due to temporary traffic lights. It really makes you think, doesn't it? Not only is Levi Mer someone who's well and truly in the running right now for the Sedfuls title, are we having our first look at a future? Am I being a little bit, a little bit early to say a future world champion? We haven't even announced anything about the belt yet, as well. I oh, know it's but, early but, doors. But you know what? From what we're seeing so far, if he can keep that fire, if he can keep that kind of laser focus, I mean, if he prevails here, you've got to say, right? We've seen it be a spring ball before. It was a spring ball for Kip Sabian. Rob Sharp won his first championship gold. He became world champion. Kip Sabian did the same. That belt launched many. And he's 26. He's only Levi 26. Muir is 26. He's got about at least what, 15 years left in the game. Think how dominant he's going to be in just two years, let alone five. This could be the most dominant. Oh, yeah. Domin oh, they're coming goodness. over here. He's on his way over here. They're coming over here. Easy work. I just, oh, I'm concerned. Nino Bright there. If it wasn't for the table. Nino, Nino, the save yourself, my fella. Save yourself, Nino. You, know. you do. I start asking the questions. When does the referee get involved? Because Nino Bryant can barely walk, Bill. He's fighting he, battles. He's trying to fight, but he can barely stand. One-legged men don't win ass-kicking contests, but two-legged no-legged men, rather, they don't win anything. 
in this particular context, he vertical suplexed him and he jumped as he delivered it. Maximum impact on the top of the spine of Nino Bryan. And I'll tell you what, he's not going to be able to take too many more shots like that. I've got, I've got to go with you, Bill. I've, 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 got to, I've got to give credit. He was even in the corner. He was lifting his fist up as if to say, come on, then. And he then flew. He just he flew back into the canvas. Fight to a flight. He's saying he's done. And do you know what? Nino... Nino is almost done, but he has somehow managed to take everything that Levi Muir's got. He's going for the TKO now, though. No, he slips out the back. It's an arm drag. Has Nino Bryan got anything left? Can he get any foothold here? There's I the drop kick. Leave this. And the native of Ball of Wood. Is he on the precipice of doing something extraordinary here in the Black Box Hastings? Oh, oh gracious my. Me. Well, something extraordinary did happen to Nino there. It certainly did. Double legs, but somehow he managed to kick out. And look at the look on Levi Muir's face. He thought that was it. I thought that was it. The hands on the back of your head indicate that you thought that was it. How was that not a free count? Wow. It's not always how big the dog is. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's about the fight in the dog. I tell you what, there is a lot of fight in Nino Bryant, and he is bringing every single bit of it here. Trying to get back to a vertical basis, trying to carry on fighting. Look at the ease that he picked him up. Oh, my, he's going to oh, break him. Track. He's breaking him in half. Oh. He's breaking him. So Scott Bell has got to get in there, surely. He's going to snap him. Maybe I should hire him as the chiropractor. Absolutely. He's going to snap him. He's got the ropes. And the, the ropes are the only thing, I think, that stopped his spine from shattering into pieces. Goes Nino. A lot of damage has been done, but he is somehow managing to find it. I don't know how many times we've written him off, or maybe I have, but he is still going, he is still fighting, he's still running, he still has enough energy left in here to mount some level of offense, to get some foothold in this contest. And you've got to wonder do Black Box Hastings believe? Are they beginning to believe that he can do it? Is there enough electricity in this room to propel him to a miracle? Oh. Oh no. Do you want to be up there, Ricky? Right, uh, well, that's where you get the miracles from, I suppose, up that high. Oh! oh! Comes down, and you wonder if that was the final spark going out for Nino Bryant. Final spark in the To cover, he yeah. stacks him. No, oh, he sprung up! How? I mean, that, I, I, don't, I don't know, I genuinely don't know what to say. How can someone take that much punishment, that much, let's be honest, violence, and keep coming back? I'm in shock. I'm in shock. But you know what? Levi now, he has to take the power, the brawn, the strength, and the desire to get this job done and stop messing about now. Well, I, I don't think he's been messing about oh. at all. I mean, look, we've been talking power versus speed. This isn't power versus speed anymore, Billy. This is power versus heart. I'm completely agreeing with you. This is the heart of Nino Bryan. Levi Muir might actually have to stop his heart to get him out of this Z Force tournament. He's still oh going. My Lord. He's with a headbutt. Desperation. And then some from Nino Bryan. Oh, look at Nino's head. Oh, my God, look at him. What is he running on? What is he running on? I don't know, but you should get a case and bring it to us next time. He, could, he, he tried to run, but he couldn't. Take your chance. Take yeah, your hit chance. the ring post. What is Brian thinking now? Kicks Muir to the outside. Goes for a tope. Hits a tope. Goes for something else. A second tope, but this time, this time, all right, the mammoth has caught him. Straight into the ring post. And I don't believe I'm going to say this, but Muir is in the perfect position. And Brian may well be on that Take moment. your chance, He's Nino Brian. Zone. Take your chance. Muir is down for the longest time in this contest. And Brian is on the top rope. I can't believe this. We could be seconds away from a bit of IWN history here. Catches him David versus Goliath. Punks a leg. Two. Oh. Oh. I thought the hand came down for three. 
today and so did every single man, woman and living, breathing autonomous human in this building. 0.00000 zero, 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 zero. Lee Muir's hand was kind of gracing the clouds in the sky at that point. If Nino got that pinfall, he he's trying to pick him up. Are you kidding me? Oh God, this is definitely power versus heart. Nino. Nino rides 132 pounds trying to lift a man who is almost twice Ricky. his own body weight. Ricky, this is the moment. What's he thinking here? What's he got planned from the top? Manages to roll view. Oh! oh Best body for the man who weighs 235 pounds, six foot one, thinking TKO. Oh, and Nino Bryan is it. down. He is down and he looks out this time. Oh, Levi Muir turns him over. One, two, an incredible victory. What hard by Bryan. Oh. Desire, but a man of that physicality, that power. That potential, Ricky. Are you looking at a future world champion? That's what you've said. I mean, as far as I'm concerned so far, quite possibly the most impressive man who looks like he could become the next Z Force champion. To be the world champion, you got to start somewhere. And the Z Force division has delivered us world champions. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it right now. That man could be the future of IWN. Absolutely. Nino Bryan put up a great fight and sometimes it's not about the size of the dog but goodness me what a dog what a dog that we have seen on display in the former Levi Muir absolutely destroyed Nino Bryan in the end heart body and soul Looking at this young lad and thinking, is he next? Sixteen years old is Leon Cage. Sixteen. We oh. said that Levi Muir was potentially going to have maybe 15 years at the top of the business. This young man could be looking at a 25 year career. And I must tell you, he's already been going for two years. He started training like 13 years old. He can't even drive a car. No, but he could. He can't. By the end of the year. He's been relying on the kindness of strangers just to even be here next week. At the end of the year, this guy he might not be able to pass his test, but he could be said for his champion. Can you imagine that he'd actually Mental. have said for his championship, but he wouldn't even be able to put it in his boot to carry it? He'd have to carry it on the bus. All the way from Wales. A long way. That's a bloody long way from yeah. Hastings, man. Let's go. Both natives of Wales. Cage is from Neath, Vaughan is from Newport. 
futuristically on cage. The babyface in a nice form. Go flying. To become. Wow. The final man entered into that Z Force Championship. It will take place the next time we have the pleasure of your company. Think about this match, Ricky, for me. Is both these guys coming from the same academy? They must know exactly how each other works. Which is new wave, right? Correct. Where are they based? The way? Wales, yeah. Bronco Brendan White, head trainer. Wow. Prestige. Here we go. Speaking of prestige, Leon Cage finding himself up top. He's prestigious. Second Dan Black belt in karate. Landed on his feet and rolls over. That takes incredible resilience to do that, especially when you're in mid-flight. Oh, and he's got a different kind of flight as he crashes to the canvas courtesy of that ladder. I'm born two and three quarters, says referee Scott Bell. Slips out the back and draw the suplex. Half Nelson transitions. Oh, nice oh, oh. The referee came out. Hold on a minute. Scott Bell. If anyone. away for his life. We talked about speed tonight and Scott Bell had to move like a cruiserweight. The baby face killer almost became the referee killer there. Alex Ball of extreme prejudice. He did not mind who was in the way of that snap suplex. He didn't indeed. But why should he care? He, he, he's I mean, why should he care? Well, what about the health and safety of another human being? Who's up with you tonight? That's our referee. What yeah. happens if he gets wiped out? Huh? He gets wiped you out. In the main you are here. getting the stripes on my friend. No, why not? That's what I'm saying. Well, we've got no Chris Hatch. No, no Chris Hatch. No, no Tom, Tom Scarborough. Scarborough. You know, both decided to go on their jollies. No Steve Linsky. No Steve Linsky. Well, we've not had Steve Linsky for a while now. But Scott Bell has been One of the best. One of the best. Oh, Scott, Scott Bell. An and he almost was the taken out Scott Bell, courtesy of Alex Vaughan, the babyface killer. The native of Newport. Looking to make an impact, looking to get in that Z Force Championship match. I think Vaughn's in Leon Cage's head right now. <laughs> because of the fact he almost took out the referee. No, no, no. It just looks like he's got his number. Yeah. Well, as you said, they, they train in the same part of the world, right? They train in the same academy. There's got to be that rivalry. There's, there's only one of them that is going to go through and get that opportunity in the Z for this championship match. Absolutely. Well, that's got to be hard, right? When you've come from the same place, you want to shine above those other people. This is not a sport where it's about Paramadero to get to the top. It's about being ruthless, right? We saw that earlier on with Levi Muir. He wasn't taking it easy on Nino Bryant. He was like, I've got to steamroll this guy to get more opportunity. Oh. This is exactly what we're going to see here. Talking about Nino Bryant, I hear he's out there with the paramedics right now. Is he really? Yeah, he's not in a good way after that. And that just tells me... You, you did say that you saw the whites of his eyes early on in the contest. I did indeed. And I'm telling you this, Ricky. That is a message for anyone who makes this final. Do you really want to be in a match with Levi Mo? No. I don't want to be in a match with any of the superstars on the IW. They, they kick the crap out of me. Would you want to get into a match with any of them? The only one I probably would have got into a match with is probably James Ellsworth. James Ellsworth? Yeah. I think I could kick his ass. He was a dangerous man. Yeah. Dangerous man. And he had his hand. He, he, he might have tried to chin you. He might have, but you know, he didn't. We don't have to worry about him now. We are looking at, Look at the future. Alex Vaughan, yeah, you say the future. Well, the future is Leon Cage trying to get back to the places. But I wonder what Alex Vaughan was just doing. Getting in the face of Scott Bell, which is a bit rich. Bearing in mind he almost suplexed his opponent into Scott Bell and took him out. Vaughan, he's up for it. Look at that. But Cage is right with back. I mean, it's something we don't... Oh, and it gets us! Oh, and we'll talk about it in a minute. Let's appreciate that flight of fancy from Leon Case, taking all the air clean out of all. He's not sweet 16, he's 16 and savage. I was going to say, the only real difference you can see between the two of them is the age. It's about a seven-year difference in age. So there is going to be a little bit of immaturity, but not in that sense. But I mean, in the sense that maybe he hasn't been in the ring that long. Maybe he doesn't know what he's doing, but I'll tell you what, hush my guns, because doesn't the kid look like he's doing well? Going to the top, oh. 
caught with a boot to the side of the head. He does not want to be there for long. And unfortunately, Vaughan is going to make his move right here, right now. Slips out the back, off the ropes. Oh my goodness! What a power bomb! Lovely. He got over. He should have tried to get over. Could have got some purchase, but he couldn't. Oh, wow, a Death Valley driver. And if you notice, he landed here on him on the way down. Scott Bell checking him as if to say, are you conscious, brother? Can you still go? Can you still move? That was Alex Vaughan's chance there, I think, to steal it. He almost did. Death Valley driver, he landed on him as he landed. We couldn't capitalise. And we talk about the inexperience of Leon Cage. Is Alex Vaughan showing the same level of inexperience? Just well, I mean, I mean, to be fair, Alex Bond's only 23 himself, and he's had a few. He's had, he's had a, I think, it's about a year or two in the game himself. So, I mean, two relatively young, relatively fresh stars here on the IWN, and I think they're finding, they're finding their place too. Right, it's like we were talking about Cali Gray, you know, finding their place in the business, finding out who they are. And we're watching that transformation right before our very eyes. Because I tell you what, pressure it makes diamonds or it makes dust, and uh, we might be seeing two diamonds here going at it. A, just a matter of attrition at this point. It's about who is going to go down first, who is going to be able to take the most hits and keep moving. You take that many He's going for that Death Valley driver again. Oh, oh my! my. Billy Wood! Oh. A reply! A reply from Leon Cage! Catches the form. They are, this is the thing. You say they train together. They really do seem to know each other that well. Because when one of them seems to get momentum, bing, bang, bong. The other one is right there to counter. Mirror, mirror. Who's the fairest of them all? That's the one. That is the one. Both weighing about 180 pounds. Both about five foot seven, five foot eight. Both from Wales. Both train at the same place. Oh, images. Four is going to go for a DDT. Got caught in a spike buster too. No. What oh, Scott Bell's arm almost flexed all the way down into a three there. Well, see, this is the thing about that neither of these athletes are old. No. This is, they've got young heads, and you can see a frustration growing Alex Vaughan there, smacking the crap out of the canvas as if to say, come on, come on, what am I doing here? I've got to get the win, what's going on? Alex Vaughan needs to cut that out and yeah. continue this. Well, he's using energy and time. Without a doubt, he needs time. to focus on his time because now, look, look at this strategy. If he can. Well, hold on a minute, Leon's oh, sleeper. The sleeper's normally the first step into the the dream killer that Vaughan likes to use, that sleeper into the front Russian sweep. Oh, it's another boot. I tell you what, they are not pulling any punches here. Absolutely determined to take each other out where possible. Vaughan goes for a reverse vertical suplex, but it's counted by Cage. Going for that double underhook lift. He's got him up. He's got the ball the way. Hey, it's a reversal by Vaughan, turns him, he turns him into a cover. That's absolutely insane, Billy Wood. Two, no, centimetres in it, centimetres in it. The heart of Nino Bryan. Yes, there has been so much heart here. That's what Leon Cage is showing right there. The Z-Force was always about heart. It's always been about, it's always been about valuing those superstars who are on the precipice, who they, it's just a case of can they survive long enough? Can they go in this environment? Can they come out of those battles? Can they keep moving forward? That is what the Z Force division has always been about. It's been about speed and agility, yes, but it's been about heart, it's been about determination, and we have seen bucket loads here in this contest. Oh, oh smash! Also, she said that Leon Cage not only is his second down black belt in karate, he has a background in parkour which is going to make him very adept at uh, flying around the ring as he has been. Almost again. You know who else loves parkour, right? Another one of our former friends, PJ Black. Yeah. yeah. Um, done, done some parkour in East South East African, East. African, PJ Black. Yeah, that's the man. The Darewolf tour, was that what we called that? Was that was it. Beware of the Darewolf. Yeah. Oh. Oh, the double clothesline that shook every single ring post. They're both back to their feet. They are showing you what it is about that heart, that fortitude. It is all on display. They want to be in that Z Force Championship match. Dare I say it looks like they need to be in that Z Force Championship match. But only one of them, only one of them can do it, and they're going to have to vanquish the other one to get there. That is where we are. 
and we are at that stage in the contest that we like to say as we move ourselves closer and closer to the end where the bodies are getting tired the limbs aren't moving like you want them to you're not able to get as much oh, oh my god like goodness me sent on an opponent man and then a car from the top are you freaking kidding me to no, be realistic now how did he get the shoulder up there billy wood explain instinct. it to me explain Just it to me like i'm a five-year-old pure instinct alex Vaughan wants to be the next head force champion and he doesn't want to have the embarrassment of a 16 year old there team. would have been no embarrassment wow. if he'd have gone down to those two moves no, no, no embarrassment at all and now he's having to dig deep he's having to show what he's got oh, oh my goodness went for a shooting start and it went wrong and that is what happens when you do moves that are high risk they can go terribly wrong rolls up in a cradle it's only a two Leon Cage very lucky there got just enough rotation to still keep himself in this contest. Ford's got the tights! Ford's got the tights and Scott Bell wise to it, thankfully. Oh look at this, what a creative turn! And he's got it! He's got it! Well done Leon Cage! And there you have it Ricky. It's a showcase, we've always said said Ford was a showcase. That was it was everything that right everything that we have come to expect from the z Force, putting their lives their bodies their careers on the line for the taste of glory that is what we have just seen and now we have our final four So there we have it. We now know the four Ladies names. Ladies and gentlemen, the final four in the Z Force Championship Tournament. We have Jay Joshua, Leon Tate, Scotty Brook, and the best athlete in the game, Levi Moore. Whoa, they don't like him in Hastings, do they? I'll tell you what, I don't think any of them are going to get into Who's the business with him. Can you believe? Better off leaving him be. These are the final four. This is going to be one of these met. One of the best matches we've ever oh had on IWN. It really is going to be a sight. You've seen all four matches. Judge it for yourself. These four combustible elements are going to go out it. The next time we're with you. Oh goodness me, Levi Neal's not waiting. Leon Cage has went through a war to even get there. He just pushed Sky Rob to the ground. What's this, what's this oh in Ada? Oh huh? god, he does not like any of We're bringing them out to show who was going to be in the final and they're going to go in the next time we're here and Scotty Rock fighting and in vain there at Levi Muir's hands a strength of this man a follow Islam almost sent him out into the chairs Oh wow, hold on a minute Hold on a minute I don't think so Jay Josh was saying, I don't think so, Levi Muir, as he made his match this time. Oh, wait a minute! Go, oh, wait a minute! minute! And we've got people rushing to try and break these two up, and best of luck keeping these two balls. Hold on a minute. Breaking the living hell out of the pen. Look at that man in the middle there. He's controlling things. And Levi Muir, oh, 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 oh. taken out, almost taken out, former world champion Rob Lynch in the process. God, we've got him in there. Lynch, Rob Lynch trying to get some order. Here in Hastings. Rob Lynch is, is doing what he can here to try and tell you what, Ricky. Bring on the final. Bring on the final. And Le Levi Muir decides maybe he'll wait for another day. Levi Muir, Levi Muir is terrifying Billy Wood, he's terrifying, he has anger in his voice. Hey look, I said from the moment he walked out, look at the size of this man, this man is not only the future, he is my 
number one pick for the championship. The biggest dog in the fight, a man some six foot one. But I'm telling you. 230 plus pounds and built like a Greek god. What did I say about Jay Joshua when he came out originally? I said, is he taking this seriously enough? And I'm telling you, I've seen that. Can you tell me how you feel about that? How do you think I feel? Up in my face. Who does he think he is, huh? Uh-huh. That must have been next really show. hard. Nah. Next show. Yeah. Cut these words short. Uh-huh. I'm fucking up. Say oh, this. Oh, you heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Incredible combustible elements, Billy Wood. We find ourselves knowing who the four men are. I'm not sure who is going to be able to stop Jay Joshua and Levi Muir from getting their hands on each other. Though. Well, what we do know is those four men, one of them will walk out with the said Force Championship on Friday the 24th of November because we are back in Hastings for pain and glory and I tell you what that was painful to watch and that, that was I tell you what they're going to bring it if anything is an indication today is the indication we are heading for big combustible bang bang stuff in November I can't wait pain and glory love it and now we move on to tag team action we want to tag team action let's find out if the local heroes can get the job done the following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. And making their way to the ring. I'm not going to lie about it, this is a very proud moment for me. I have seen Corvus Kid and Lupo Lee in this very town, the town that they pretty much have always called home. Down in EWW, they have stood in front of thousands of people. I have watched them go from trainees, I've actually watched Lupo Lee go from being an actual child who came to watch the shows, and now here he is, huge opportunity. It's exciting times for Lupo Lee and the is. Corvus I want to kid. talk about those guys in the second Ricky. But look at these guys coming out now. Making talk about chances. Hailing from old Yorkshire. Weighing in at the combined weight of 470 pounds. Yorkshire top, Reese and Rogan. And like I was saying, I want to talk about these two local lads in a minute. But look at those mammoths on stage right now. Now, I don't think you can make men like that in Hastings, but you certainly can in Yorkshire. Are you saying there's nobody in Hastings that would look like those two guys? Absolutely not. But I'm telling you. I'm not, I'm not sure how true that is. Well, but well, They well. certainly are two big, mean Yorkshiremen, and they have not come here to make friends. They have come here to make impact, they have come here to do some damage and if the opportunity presents you know they're here for some gold. They are and I just want to take a moment to move on to the two local lads in the ring right now. Call this kid Lupo Lee, you know lots about these. Yeah. You mentioned you saw one of them come as a fan to well, so did a you. local show, yes. So did you, you would have seen Lupo Lee when he was a kid as well, he would have been around the same time exactly. when you would have seen him too. And and these guys now have got an opportunity. And what no one can say I don't do is offer opportunity. And when we came here to Hastings, when we brought the International Wrestling Network here to the Black Box, I looked at what I felt could be the best local talent. I called these gentlemen up from Extreme World Wrestling and said, come on, let's see what you can do on this independent stage. And did you pick Reese and Rogan to face them? Absolutely I did. Why? Because if you want to be their best, you've got to go through the best. And this tag team, I believe, are one of the best. In the well, I completely agree. The idea of this being a proving ground. And the, the, rock paper, the rock, paper, scissoring to decide who's going to start off here. I presume that's just because they both want to get in there. Do you know what I'm worried about? I'm worried, Luke, I'm worried that Corvus Kid is going to look like his outfit by the end of tonight. 
Well, he's going to look like skin and bones. Absolutely, because these two oh, Yorkshiremen may just eat the meat straight off him. Well, Reese and Rogan are big. They're bad. I'm not going to disagree with that. We've seen them in action before. They were very dominant indeed. Saw them in January, very dominant. Like in Seven Oaks, which I think might be on the IWN. It is. Is it on the IWN? You'd know. Um, Seven Oaks on there? It's not. Oh, is it not? <laughs> it might be at some point. Reese and Rogan, very dominant. But... Uh, they may well be dominant here today. We'll have to wait and see. Corvus Kids head hit the canvas. He's given him a free hit. But Corvus, Corvus Kid, he knows how to swing a shot. Oh, God. I think my four-year-old daughter could do better than that. Well, look, speed and agility. I tell you what, don't roll up Corvus Kid. He'll come for you. There here he is, that speed on the spike, he roll up, that could have been it. And that's why Corby is pissed here, for the speed and action. Oh, oh, he's got to, got to keep the eye on the prize. Well, if you don't keep the eye on the prize, you're going to, uh, you're going to be on the receiving end of something that hurts. Oh, oh boy. Corby's kid Shut needs up. to get out of that corner for a start. The tight of Reese and Rogan start to get into the position where they are controlling this contest. And they have cut that invisible diagonal down the middle of the ring and Corvus Kid is their side of it. It is not going to end well for the South East scum. There's some of that agility. Corvus Kid, multiple kicks, now manages to make the tag and goodness me, didn't they need that? Two big boots and Reese and Rogan for the first time looking a bit shaky. Shades oh. of Jeff Hardy and Matt there. Working together as a team. And that might be what it takes. Look at the strength of Wrecking Ball Reese there. Big and Reese makes that tag to Rogan, I don't think. Corvus Kid sees it. Oh, he feels it now, though. Imagine getting a boot from just Reese. One of them. Yeah, exactly. Just one of them. But two of them in some sort of nasty footy sandwich. Oh, no, thank you. Straight from Yorkshire. Rog Rogan teasing Lou Poli, and that looks like it might have been a mistake. Corvus Kid's got a moment here. Oh, Rogan. Rogan smiling. Oh, the big horse. <laughs> in back. And then huge drop kick. Half of that 470 pounds caving in to Corvus Kid. Oh no. And Corvus has already had a quite a beating in this contest already. I know he made the tag but he's going to need a bit more. Oh, he's got the big I think here, if Corvus Kid does not get out of this predicament, he's going to get out of that corner for a second. He does just to get oh, out of this. He's going to move closer to Lee. If you're in the neutral corner, it's not as bad, but you're, oh. in, the corner, you're in for a world of hurt. And that's exactly what Corvus Kid finds himself dealing with right now. Reese has him up, vertical super, it's almost Woo. touching the ceiling. Incredible strength. Six foot of Reese, something five foot ten, all the way up in the air and crashing down into the Hastings. Now Lupo Lee knocked off the apron, so now there's no one for Skull Kid, Corvus Kid to tag. Well, Lupo Lee did get straight back up, but now that numbers game can really begin. And Reese and Logan are finding themselves in the butcher shop. Ricky, this is why I said they're they one of the best tag teams. They know tag team wrestling inside out. They are not a thrown together team. They work together up and down the country. I mean, it's, it's cheating though, because it's double team, isn't it, really? Well, you can call it cheating, cheating or you did can Did you call see it. that kick? Sorry, Billy. Did you see that kick? Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Cannonball the head! Clean off the Corvus Kid! Oh! oh! Reese and Rogan are in the butcher shop and they're carving up some yum yum Corvus Kid at the moment. You call it cheating, I call it bending the rules. You call it cheating, because it's cheating. Bending the 
rules would be maybe holding on to a, a, you know, a submission when someone's on the ropes for a five count possibly, or a four count maybe. Do you know what I mean? But distracting the referee, getting a double advantage, that is cheating. Where do you think Corvus Kid goes after this, Ricky? What, what do you mean where he goes after this? Well, you know, he'll wake up tomorrow morning. What will be left of the man? They might be, yeah. don't, don't, don't sell them short here, but they've got plenty of fight. I've seen them myself over the years. And there you go. Almost making the tag to Lupo Lini. Yeah. And here comes Lupo Lini, the king of games, is in the ring. Woo. And this is the opportunity that the South East Scum needed. The fresher of the two. Mason Rogan have both been there quite a lot. And that's actually not going to work for them here, because it means they've expected quite a bit of energy. They're both quite big men. And Lupo Lini is flying around the ring of three the speed of Reese and Rogan. That new almost took Reese clean out of the ring. Can't stop Lupo. Oh. There's another one for Rogan. He's going to give something else for Reese. And Reese and Rogan, the Yorkshireman, for the first time, look vulnerable. This is a risk, Ricky. It is a risk, but I tell you what, sometimes you have to, don't you? Sometimes you have to go for the big moment. Of them, you have to try. Chris Buddy didn't go for the cover. Our oh, Lupo, you know better than that, lad. You've been trained better than that. Trained at the Extreme Academy, he should know better. Beautiful twisting butterfly DDT. Two, no. Almost had it, but not quite on that exchange. Is he letting the occasion get revenge? He knows. for the cover. Ricky. Maybe this kid knows our history. He knows we propel stars. Is he trying to make a statement here tonight? Will that cost him and his tag team partner for this kid? It is a huge moment for them. They'd be the first to admit that as well, but they are making the most of the moment and they could be on the verge of, oh, spoke too soon, on the verge of a great victory. But it's well reversed from Reese, who just smacks the head of Corvus Kid clean off the ring post. Oh! Oh! Lupo Lee to face his ancestors. Border oh conquest. One, two, oh! go! No! Maybe not yet. Corvus Kid rushing in to break up the count. I'm not sure if Lupo Lee needed the help. And Corvus Kid sent flying back out. And Reese and Rogue will make the tag. They are moving. With deliberate purpose now, Billy, I can smell the auctionman thinking about maybe ending it now. Well, it's kind of really into Lupo Lee. Yeah. Really into Lupo Lee, really into Corpus Kid, two local lads. And the local lads that have done good, they went from being kids watching wrestling to being adults training to being here and now on IWN Live. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no, Lupo Lee! Wiped out by the auctionman! And the limp body of Lupo Lee is put over to, and this time Corvus Kid somehow breaks things up. Reese and Rogan absolutely beside themselves. Not quite sure how that happened. I'll tell you what happened, lads. He didn't get the job done quick enough. Oh, That's what happened. Kids. I know that he's valiant. I know he's trying to save his sanity right now. He's still time. swinging. You've got to give Corvus Kid credit here. Swinging both Reese and Rogan. Oh. Two, two strong headbutts and Corvus Kid. It's taken down and Lupo Lee now struggling to get back to his feet, but he's not going to get that. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Yorkshire reckoning by Reese and Rogan, I'm afraid that it just is not enough for South East Scotland. Corvus Kid and Lupo Lee, they fought their hearts out, they did everything they possibly could, but in the end, in the end it just wasn't enough today, and Reese and Rogan once again asserting that dominance we have come to know of them. Former tag team champions, pretty deadly, now these guys aren't pretty but they're bloody deadly, very good. could they be the next IWN tag team? Absolutely good. I don't know what the fans are about that yet. I'm sure you'll tell me at some point. But we'll be ready, that's for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, the following
So, we've come to that point, right? We've come to that point. But what many do not know, Ricky, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's main event is a qualifier as well. Is it? It is. So I have brought a little friend with me. Have you? I have. What are you doing down there? Oh. This wow. championship wow, wow, has been wow. held by super bad Kip Sabian. It's been held by Moose. It's been held by Austin Aries. It's been held by Mark Haskins. It's been held by, oh my God, so many greats. Rob Sharp's had it. Rob Sharp and battle-tested Rob, Rob Lynch. The final champion. But tonight, we have the first qualifier for the Super 8, which we will run on, in January 2024. And it will be, this year's Super 8, 24 Super 8, will be for the IWN wow. World Championship. Huge breaking news that is here on the IWN. That gold is going to be around someone's waist come January. So this is the first qualifier. So will it be Ricky Knight Jr.? Will it be Robbie X? Two generational stars. This is going to be quite something. Absolutely. And I just want to add as well, at Pain and Glory, we will have three more qualifiers for this tournament. Exciting times. Who is going to be the next world champion here on the IWN? We'll find out starting right now. Let's send it to ringside for your main of the evening. The following contest is your main event of the evening. It's main event time. He looks determined. He doesn't look like he's come here to lose. Now, as far as I'm aware, he was not of, he, he was not of the knowledge that this was a qualifier, right? Not before my announcement, but I'll tell you what. I remember getting a message from young Ricky. Billy. Can I come to International Pro Wrestling? Can I come and wrestle on some of your shows at the, the famous Unit 9? Can I be a part of this? Can I do it? Billy, I will travel from Norwich. And we gave Ricky Knight those chances, Ricky Knight Jr. those chances on those early days. We saw Ricky Knight Jr. in the International Battle Royale, and we saw this guy come through and become the, uh, well, not become, but be the early days of that beginning, right? But now we transform into 2023, and I believe we will see the best of RKJ in our international wrestling. I know we've talked about it before, but this is a class not just for the Knight Junior, but that legendary Knight family, but also a man who's at the very height of his game, a man who considers himself a lady by the soul, king of the cruiserweights, another man who has a career to jump free, much like the Knight Junior in Robin X. Robbie X is one of the most well-traveled, the one of the most genuine, hard-working talents in Britain. And I believe one of the most underrated talents in Britain. So Robbie X, for me, isn't a cruiserweight. Robbie X, for me, is a future world champion. the table. And that's the thing, I can sit all day long and say a future this and a future that, but it's up to them in the ring to prove it. Probably X doesn't deal with the latest, and I, I think the greatest member of the Knight Dynasty in Ricky Martin. So, could this be the following the contest first time? is scheduled for one fall, and the winner will be the first entrant into the IWN Super 8 tournament. Introducing first from Norwich, England, weighing in at 210 pounds, the killer, Ricky Knight Jr. And his opponent. From Lincoln, England, weighing in at 180 pounds.
crowns the king of the cruiserweights, yeah. Robbie! they say but like I said I just don't look at him as a as a weight category I look at Robbie X and as you say if they want to prove they are the future I mean I believe in some ways Ricky Knight Jr and Robbie X are the now yeah, what, they, look, they, they, they are they're their mainstays we have to look we have to be straight straight with it Robbie X Ricky Knight Jr it's not the first time in Britain that we've seen this but I'm telling you this if I wanted any two competitors to main event our return Ricky after all these years it's Robbie X and Ricky Knight Jr. Actually Jack Green it, it, it's just irresistible it's an irresistible rise again two people that have been in the business a long time that belies their ages 16 years and 14 years in the business and neither one of them I believe are 30 years old that is absolutely insane so both have come from this in their teenage years they were both prodigal in that respect they both were prodigious not so much uh, prodigal sons they're more prodigious sons and they absolutely have they've gone above and beyond where they were they have evolved over that time they are two of the top in the game right now they are. Really are. well the last time we saw Ricky Knight in one of our rings was at live at Unit 9 when he was in a international battle royale qualifier and in that match he faced a former world champion Kip Sabian in everyone's eyes in that building and probably ours that was meant to be oh, another win in Kip Sabian supposed to be showcase for without a doubt Ricky Knight upstage Kip that night and booked his space into the international battle royale now I'm telling you this I know it's been years since that night, but there's no reason, in my opinion, we can like, kind of pick up, pick up from that moment and push out. I completely agree. And do you know what? They are both. They're so close to being the top. Do you know what I mean? They are. They, it's not just the top of the food chain here in the IWM, but we're talking across the entire country in general. They have both held titles a plenty. 23 championship reigns for Robbie X in the last 10 or so years. Ricky Knight Jr., former five-time WAW Tag Team Champion. He's the current WAW TV Champion. He's the current Progress Atlas Champion. Robbie X, former undisputed Ref Pro British Cruiserweight Champion. They've both held belts. They've both had prestigious moments. They've both had legends in the ring. And they are here for your main event, here at Black Box. Here on the Ascent for your pleasure. And right now it is Robbie X on the Ascendancy. And it's Ricky Knight Jr. on the outside of the ring. Robbie oh, doing the smart thing, going out there after him. Oh! Oh, oh chopped so hard, it knocked Ricky Knight Jr. down to the seats. Oh, look out. Oh, oh it's not the audience is making a bit more of a bargain for there. Live, and personal. It's the live experience, folks. Be here live. If you're watching this and you haven't got your tickets yet, do go get them. Find IWN where we are, we're IWN underscore UK on X, we're IWN UK on TikTok, also on YouTube, which I'm sure you may not be seeing us, but if you're not seeing us on YouTube, we're there at International Wrestling Network. Get your tickets wherever you can find us. Get to the next show, which will be Pain and Glory, coming to you on the 24th of November. Get your tickets now, they're going to sell like the hottest cakes. This show is sold out right now. It's so hot in here, Ricky, that actually four people have left from their safe seats. They moved. Oh, I think they just, I think they couldn't take the heat. I, I think Conor was upset. Oh, okay. oh. oh, funny driver into the corner and the leg of Bobby X smacked. I believe that was the bottom turnbuckle on the way down, so that whip effect on the leg. And obviously Bobby X's entire arsenal is basically built on speed and using his legs as a springboard. Absolutely. That is going to make it very hard to hang here with RKJ's thinking. Draping DDT on the top rope and he, he deliberately angled his body as Robbie X landed to make sure it was the entire head that landed rather than just the side too. 
And it's that kind of uh, mileage that could serve him very well in this contest. Ricky Knight Jr. calls himself the killer these days, Ricky, and I tell you, I witnessed Ricky go toe to toe with, with Davy Boy Smith Jr. Oh, 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 so long ago, and they're coming here, and I don't need that killer nowhere near me. Nobody is safe. And people are outside. Oh, oh, oh my God! Oh. Billy Wood! Oh. Oh. It's a Billy Wood! Billy oh. Wood! Oh. Oh. Billy, were you right, Bill? Oh, Bill! I'm good. I can't believe it. You just got used as a weapon. And the bar! Oh, 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 Get slams on the bar! Oh, there might be some things we expected this evening. I tell you, one thing I did not expect when I walked into this building was to see Billy Wood used as some kind I of I cannot of believe that, Ricky. No, way. Uh, He's not taking to uh, 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 No, we're going for the wall! Oh, my oh, goodness. Yeah, he had him that fireman carrying, just drilled him headfirst into the Ricky Knight Jr. He cannot be controlled. He cannot be stopped in this moment. When he's in this zone, he's living up to the moniker of killer. Volley back, Robbie X is probably the biggest heart in the game. He won't stop. Ricky, I, him down. I am so sorry, Ricky. You that right, has thrown me. I did not you expect. You were almost thrown, yeah. Ricky Knight like Jr. I called him the killer. What more does he want? Oh my goodness. What does he want? You know? Gotta kill me. Yeah. You gave him I gave him the chance. You gave him the opportunity. Robbie goes over the ropes. Oh, he got caught this thinking exclamation. But he got caught. High angle German suplex. Robbie X falls into the turnbuckle. Ricky Knight Jr. has been relentless since the bell has gone in this contest. And of course, he now knows it will get him entrance into the Super 8. And that could make him the next world champion here. The IWN. <laughs> What's on the line? We have spoke about it briefly about the length of their careers. It belies their age. 16 years the career of Robbie X, trained by the no nonsense Keith Meyer and Tommy Boyce. And oh. Knight Jr., who just took another wicked, wicked German suplex. 14 years in the business, trained of course by the legendary Knight family, of which he is a member. You're talking Ricky Knight, Sweet Soraya Knight, Zach Zodiac, and Zebrah Key. Huge legacy. And Soraya, of course. Come on, we can't. 82,000 Ricky at Wembley. At Wembley. Which Ricky Knight Jr. walked out yeah, with yeah, the family. Out. I was there. It was an incredible sight. I was in. One of the legendary so I can invite Tony Khan. I can invite Tony Khan to a show. He can come to one of my shows, but I'm not here. He's bigger show in the UK. He was in the Resistance Gallery. We both. He was with us there. He was there in his big puffed up Fulham coat. He looked like a Wally, but it was nice to see him. Yeah, I invite him there, but he didn't invite me. Uh, that's that's gratitude. Oh, gratitude is on display there by Robert. He gives Ricky Knight Jr. a special helping of that flipping sent on. Showing that technique, showing that speed that has served him so well these past almost two decades in the business. I can't believe I'm saying he's been in the business almost two decades. The man isn't even 30 yet. Underrated, like I've said. Put, put on the world of under a mask. Now we're seeing the real Robbie Arts. And this is what it looks like, ladies and gentlemen. This is what it looks like when someone is on the precipice of being the big star, of going all the way to being the top of the mountain. And this could be the moment Robbie X gets there. Not quite yet. The drop move, drop kick by Ricky Knight Jr. Down goes Robbie X, and he's in a precarious place here. Ricky Knight Jr. Caught him. Look at the strength. Look at the strength of Ricky Knight Jr. Lifting him up. Once, twice. And landing ball on his head. Percy Robbie X. It's not enough on that occasion. Catches a super kick. Robbie X somehow still on his feet, still going. Ricky Knight Jr. puts it down with a lariat. Off the ropes, plenty of bounce. Picks him up again, once again, trying to get him up for that power bomb. Once again, doesn't work. Pile A kick. Down goes Ricky Knight Jr. It's a Spanish fly in the middle of the ring. Both men wiped out. Leave a man able to capitalise. Robbie X could even awesome. fling an arm over. This is awesome. You hear the crowd, Ricky. I do hear the crowd. Do you hear the people singing? Did you think we wouldn't come back with a main event 
at least at this category. Absolutely. I'm at least at this level of intensity. It was the first announcement you made, and as soon as you made it, I tell you, people were salivating. People were salivating all over the country. That is why this place was sold out. This is why you couldn't get you couldn't get a ticket. I think almost this week. Exactly. It was the week of the show. You couldn't even get a ticket. The most exclusive, hottest ticket in the country at the moment, and you're seeing it here on the IWN. Go get your tickets for next show, Pain and Glory. Be one of the lucky ones in attendance. If you want to be part of something that's going to grow, grow, and grow, and you want to be at the new inception of it, now is your time to be part of the International Racing Network. Now is your time to not only see the future, but the very best in Britain, but not only in Britain, but the world, because we will bring you stars from the world, Ricky. This is the cradle. This has been in British wrestling, has been hot property for so long. We're in a peak moment at the moment. Everybody wants to come to Britain. Everybody wants to put a show on. Everybody wants to use our stars. And two of the very finest are slugging it out here in your main event, going toe to toe, mano a man. Journeyman. Oh, journeyman. <laughs> Chop. Ricky Knight Jr. has been a mainstay of Britain, but he's also wrestled in Germany, New Orleans, Italy, all over Europe. As two of the really ex in Belgium, Spain, Denmark, Italy, Germany, and a whole host of others. But here they are, two British stars on the big stage with a big power move from RKJ, who was so close to getting the win there. They've all wrestled around the world. RKJ has been with us for years, but this is our first time with Robbie X and not without trying. <laughs> We've tried many times to bring Robbie X into, into our company. Is it living up to what you hoped for? Is, it, is it living up to the moment? Is it, it's living up to today, the moment for me. Robbie X is underway at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. Rightly in the main event, both men rightly at the very top, exactly where they belong. That's Ricky Knight Jr. thinking. Close, trying to close line Robix back over that top rope. Robix just about managed to hold on. And for a second time. And Robix. Oh, defiance. And that's a bad idea to ever do to a member of the Knight family because they will not take kindly to disrespect. He's thinking Rikishi. Oh, no. No, no. Not on the apron. No. 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 Tombstone. On. Oh, my God. <laughs> on the hardest part of the ring, Billy Wood. And I know you wanted to bring Robbie X in for a long time, but he might not be coming back oh. after that. How did he Come on now. Be serious. Come on now. How's, how's Robbie X conscious? How's he conscious there than getting a shoulder up there? You wanted him in, you wanted the best. You said, I want to bring the best to Hastings. I want to bring the best to the IWN. This is what it looks like. You are talking about the hearts of lions in that ring. Oh, for sure, Ricky. But RKJ, he can't let this momentum go. He has to stay on the tent like Robbie X, because in a flash, Robbie X can change the tone like that. I mean, you say that, he tombstoned him on the apron, and he's still going. Robbie X is still in the spot. Oh. Maybe no more. That's it. Swings into the canvas and drops along the cover, and he regrets it. He regrets it. He's angry. I don't know why he's angry. He's angry at himself. Because he took a nonchalant cover. It's got be. A cheap victory to prove some kind of point. Yeah. That's a mistake, you just saw him kick out our tombs. Well, when what? you're part of a bravado family like the Knights. Yeah, but where, where's his head at? He just tombstone the guy on the apron. It's going for that, maybe thinking Rikishi driver. Wanting to finish it, start. Like we said, he can change it in a flash. And Robbie X is up top. Ricky Knight Jr. who is down and probably out. No! No! He's going for the exclamation of the rope. Ricky oh. the kick to the back of the head. He catches him. He's going for the Rikishi driver again. And he gets it. And he gets absolutely every piece. Two. And that rope to it. Wow.
ladies and gentlemen, we made, we made a decision to come back, Ricky. After all this time, we made a decision to come back. And by God, we made the right decision. That is for moments like that, for matches like that, for people on the calibre, high class level athletes just like that, putting it on the line. And that, of course, now means that our KJ is the first entrant into the Super 8 of January 2024 to crown the new champion of the world of the IWA. And he has seen the one over this crowd. Hold on a minute. Well, some of the crowd, I mean, he's not exactly nice to them. Extending the... Oh, he was trying to extend the hand to Robbie X, but obviously... Robbie, a fierce competitor. Obviously very proud. He's not going to... He's trying to shake his hand. Ah! Thought Robbie, I thought he was going to shake his hand, but he doesn't. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not done here. Oh, and Robbie X is extending the hand. And he's saying, Look, I want to shake your. Oh, oh it's. Oh, I'll tell you what. You'd love to see it, right? Ricky Slatter, the International Wrestling Network is back. And we're not back for one show, we're back forever. And tonight, we may be looking at our future world champion in Ricky Knight Jr. Is this our Super 8 winner? What do you think, Ricky Knight? Take us out tonight. Absolutely be the future champion here at the IW. And it remains to be seen. Make sure you are there in person to see it all and probably there for Super 8. Be back here November 24th for pain and glory. This has been a return to the IWN and triumphantly so for Billy Woods, for Ricky Sanna, for the whole team and for everybody here in the black box. We'll be seeing you next time and we'll be seeing you ringside.